So I'm gonna take you guys around right now and just go over our setup that we have at the hospital. This isn't, you know, all of our stuff by any means, but this is just the iron and equipment that we have to take care of this hospital. First is our salt truck. Uh, we use this just for salting every once in a while. We will put a 11 and a half foot V plow on it just to do the loop road when it's a real big storm, but usually we keep this without a plow and we just salt with it. Uh, this is our backup salt truck, F750. It's got a four and a half yard uh, steel caster in it. And just in case this truck ever does break down, we can swap over to that. This is the four yard snow bucket for the JCB 427. The Denali Duramax, this is our main plow truck for up here that just does the loop road. The plows, uh, one is for the 550 here, the 11 and a half foot. It's a 9V2 with the foot extension wings. And this is the 10 and a half XV with a foot wings making this plow 12 and a half feet. It does the loop road with one pass. If we ever get a huge storm, that's gonna go right on the 750. Over to our LD plows, we have a 10 and a half foot for our 215 tire. And we have a 13 LD for the track tail skid. Here are our shipping containers. One is completely full of salt. The other has two skid steers and about half a container full of salt. Now we usually get about 90 ton in one of them and we put about 30 in this one. Here's a little baby 215. Here's the monster JCB tail skid. It is a weekend so the hospital's not really open, just the ambulance facility and the emergency room. Here's the biggest and most important thing we got here. JCB 427 loader, 14 foot HD. Thing's a beast. Let's get rolling. So it's a 16 year old kid in that truck right now. Kind of scary, but you gotta learn. So yeah, he's just doing the loop road. Obviously he's not doing much, it's just kind of training. But that's usually how we do it. So he's gonna be helping me out for the rest of the storm and probably around two-ish. It's like 10 right now, around two-ish another guy's gonna come and we'll completely finish everything. If the storm is, you know, actually over.
those deer at salt. He jumped in the salt truck. That was just gonna follow me around. And after I plow a parking lot, he should have instantly salted. Getting close to the end, so. Hopefully we won't have to scrape up after that. So there's salting, you know, seeing little all the rock salt everywhere, just a little bit. And then there is advanced salting. I mean, that's almost like a tripping hazard. It must be slippery with all those freaking rock, rock salt. We don't take care of the walkways here, just pavement. So yeah, this is the morning after the storm and kind of just everything froze up a little bit, nothing crazy. So we're here again, just uh, throwing a light coating of salt everywhere. You wouldn't even believe the amount of salt that we go through here. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, this is just like one storm. I think we use like 18 tons, 18 yards, something crazy like that. But uh, definitely keeps the place safe, that's for sure. And it's uh, obviously zero tolerance being a hospital, so they need it done perfect. I mean, that it's just so excessive. I mean, you know, if there's a salt shortage, you know, they're gonna be regretting stuff like that. We got five inches in Farmington, and then we only got like two inches in town, which was just enough to plow and sand everything, which is great. And it's right before the end of the month before we do all of our billing. And with this month being pretty slow, it definitely helps out. So yeah, hopefully January and February kind of turn this winter around. It's been pretty slow. But uh, you know, 
know, winter's not done yet. And especially the past few years, it seems like uh, December has been, you know, really nothing and January, February has been a lot more. So hopefully that uh, is the same way this year. Like always, thanks you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Any comments or recommendations, obviously leave down below. Thanks a lot.